Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul Flahan here with Paul's iOS device showing you how to update your application uh, that is already in iTunes in the App Store. So first go to iTunes, connect.apple.com and select the app you want updated. So I've already got 3.1 here but uh, you will have a button here over to the right uh, that's showing that you want to update your application and then you'll see some pop-ups um, you're going to type in your new version number uh, your updated version number and also you're going to type in what has changed in this version so now we're going to go over to Xcode and we're going to make sure that none of your devices uh, your test devices are plugged into your computer and make sure it says iOS device up here at the top and make sure your version number is the same as the updated version number that you just uh, typed in in iTunes Connect. Now we're going to go over to the build settings and make sure we change our code signing from iOS developer to uh, distribution. Now this is the certificates that you've created in iTunes Connect. Uh, we are going to change all of these to distribution as well as your provisioning profile now this is all very critical. Um, if you don't do this, uh, the app will not uh, pass um, the review process. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the project and go to build settings as well and do the exact same thing. Change all of your code signing certificates to distribution as well as your provisioning profile. To production. So now that, now that you've got all that situated, we're going to go up to product and archive our product here. So this will take a little while depending on how big your application is. Mine's not all that big, so it will obviously depend on how big your application is. So mine will be finishing up here really quick and the build was succeeded. Now here um, you can see your estimated app size but here over to the right we're going to go ahead and select submit. Now that you've done this it's going to fetch the developer uh, provisioning profile. It's going to prepare to archive making sure the binary and elements are correct and now it's uploading the archive and again this all depends on how big your application is. Mine took roughly uh, a minute or two. I sped this up uh, just slightly. It's sending the API usage to iTunes Connect. And this also depends on your internet connection. Now it's authenticating, verifying, and now it's uploading the package to iTunes. And Hopefully you get a submission successful like I did. Now select done. Now what I do, this is not required. What I do, I go back to Xcode. Now that uh, my app was uh, submitted, I'm going to go ahead and change all this back to uh, development. That way whenever I go back and do more changes for the next version, um, this will already be done for me. That way I don't forget. Make sure you do it for both the project and the targets. This allows me to uh, not have to think about it next time I get into Xcode. Now that this is complete, I'm going to go ahead and save my file here. Now we're going to go back to iTunes Connect and I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page. You may have to refresh it a couple times, which I will do here in a moment. You'll scroll all the way down until you see build, and it says submit your build using Xcode 5.1.1. Um, you should see your, um, your file here if it's completed. All right, here it is. I've refreshed a couple times. Now I need to click the plus next to build, and now select the build that uh, you want to 
Submit to the App Store. Now select Done. Once you've done all that, scroll all the way to the top. Click Save. After you've saved, now we are going to go ahead and select Submit for Review. Now that is all there is to it, just to uh, submit uh, an update to the App Store. Make sure you, you uh, check mark all of these accordingly. Um, all of mine are no. Uh, once you've done that, you will submit this as well. And then you're complete. You're completely done. And hopefully your update uh, hits the App Store soon. And I hope this was very helpful. I've had a lot of requests for this, uh, considering iTunes Connect was the UI has changed considerably. So I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to uh, subscribe. And thanks for watching. God bless.